My name is Anna Morales and I'm the chef for Anna's Cucina. Cucina, which is, um, it's, it's kitchen, Anna's kitchen. <laughs> Filipino food is a mixture of, with, of Spanish, Portuguese, Vietnamese, Malaysian and Chinese. Um, yeah, I started cooking when I was 18 and with just simple dishes. Which the business came from the passion that I've got for cooking and I didn't want to work in an office anymore so I just decided to start my own catering company. Do you love it? I love it. <laughs> yeah. So then, Anna, you're going to take us behind the scenes of your cuisine and teach us how to make... Chicken adobo. Chicken adobo. Chicken wings adobo. It's going to be the marinade for the chicken, right? Yes, it is. So we've got oyster sauce, lemon juice, garlic, minced garlic, salt, brown sugar, and soy sauce and vinegar. Pour the garlic in. Just basically pour everything in there. You put some salt, not too much, because obviously... Once all the ingredients for the marinade are added, it's time to get your hands dirty. Right, do you hands want to do yeah, that? go on, let me do it. Let me okay. Do it. Right, so do I just, so like, just like mix, massage? Yeah, just really marinate it in. Just really. So I'm, I'm trying to. Just make sure every single chicken Ooh. wing is, is coated. I'm trying to break up all the brown sugar as well <laughs> to make sure that gets yeah. like evenly distributed. Yeah. Right then, we're over at the stove. What's happening here? So we've marinated the chicken, so now it's time to actually cook chicken. Yep. So we start off by putting the olive oil or you can just use veg, veg oil whatever. Roughly. Oh sorry. Dice. Okay yeah. Dice. Yeah so it's just yeah diced onion. Mm -hmm. There's a, one and a half large onions there. Yep. You can add while that's cooking peppercorn. Whole peppercorn. Whole black peppercorn. Yep. So probably about two teaspoons of peppercorn so quite a lot. Bay leaves. Okay. Are they like smells good, it? dried bay leaves then? Yeah, dried yeah. bay leaves. I mean, what happens is, is that it, you know, it's it's going to simmer, mm -hmm. and the um, the onion will cook anyway, cook down. So while it's simmering, it smells really nice. <laughs> right, it's time for the chicken. Yeah. So is there a skill to this, or do you just flop Not it really. in? Well, don't flop it in because it might get messy. Just gently does it. Okay, right. Me. Not what I'd have done. I would yeah. have just, you know, kind just, of hoped for the best. Yeah, but. and splattered the walls while you're at it. <laughs> and then once it starts boiling, well, then we add the vinegar. Okay. How do we know when it's boiling? Well, it, you'll be able to tell because it literally just. I'm not going to whistle up. <laughs> no. It starts bubbling up. Okay. When the pot comes to a boil, add the vinegar and let the chicken simmer for around 40 minutes, mixing occasionally. Okay, so what's the next step then? Right, so um, now that this is um, boiling and simmering, yep. we'll move it to the back of the hob. Forget about that for a bit. Yep, forget right. about that. So next up is the quail eggs, which we're going to boil for three minutes. And obviously the water's already boiled. Yep. Um, so it's always good pan. to have, yeah. And why are you dropping them in on this spoon? It's just because if you drop them in, like, well, you can't really drop any eggs into water savagely. Right. So um, if you just gently drop it in with a, a ladle like this. And it's um, three minutes exactly for hard boil. Yeah, three minutes. Um, Let the quail eggs cool down a bit and then peel and add to the pot. In the meantime, boil some rice and prepare the garnish. Yeah. And then, what I was actually going to do is um, do the garnish for the rice with the, the yeah. um, so we're gonna fry fried some garlic. garlic to put on top of it, um, which I've never had before, so I'm really excited to try it. It looks nice with the garnish as well, yeah. but the hob was actually on anyway, so it's actually taking it. It's not too greasy. Just like that. It fizzle away for a minute. Yeah. Just check the thumbness now. Wow, I need to turn that down actually. Uh, Nice and boiled. Yeah. That's looking absolutely divine. Yeah, so it's just got, how it's it has. It has gone that dark brown colour, like you said it was. Yeah. So that's the soy and everything. So that's got another 30 minutes to go, and then that's all. We can turn that off and, and then add the quail eggs into there once we've peeled them.
Once the garlic is fried, drain on some kitchen towel and sprinkle some on your rice. By now the chicken should be ready and it's time to taste. Here it is, the finished meal, chicken adobo. Yeah, adobo. 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 All right, okay. Hi. And here are the quail eggs, those pesky little quail eggs. Yeah, they're very fiddly to peel. You should just dive in. Yeah, we? sure, why not? <laughs> what do we go for first? I, I normally go for rice and then mm -hmm. put a little bit of chicken. Yeah. <laughs> and then just get a little bit of chicken. Down the hatch. Mmm. Good? Mmm. It's so good. It's so simple as well. Like. Very quick mm. and easy to make. You can make that now. And it's quite yeah. egg. Yeah. That you've never tried before. How it's is like it? a normal egg. <laughs> I don't know what I was scared of. <laughs> that is chicken adobo. Mm -hmm. Adobo. So if people want to have a go at your cuisine, where can they find you again? Um, the Brunel Wine Bar in Clifton Village, West Mel. I'm there on Tuesday and Wednesdays from 6 till 10. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing um, eight dishes, tapas dishes, for £23 per head. Fantastic. And well, it's all very yummy and nice, and I think everybody should come and try it. Got and my see recommendation. Me. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me to cook. I feel no like problem, anytime. A new man now. <laughs>